All right, this is a quick review of the year chart for 2013 so that you can see the kind of activity. Please note the red square, which is the eclipse period that we've just been through. That wound up being quite intense. And now we're going through a long Uranus square Pluto that goes from March to the end of the year. And we're seeing increases of violence and protests in the streets um, and a continued violence in Syria and now protests in Egypt. But you also saw protests in um, Brazil. And if I remember right, I can't remember, there was another country that had protests. But look at the market volatility at this first half with the eclipse period and when we had Mars involved with it because it winds up corresponding the astrology with the markets. All right, now we have the chart of the S&P 500 since it's the biggest um, market we can look at for um, actual volatility. And look how I overlaid the eclipse period. And you see at the top of the eclipse period that the market changed direction. It's very common with eclipse periods that you'll have a market direction change. And then we wound up having a lot more violence at the end of um, June. And notice again, under the red rectangle, the Mars Uranus aspects that created great drops in volatility in the market. So here's a direct correspondence with the astrological aspects and the market volatility. And notice with the Mars Uranus in the square, that's when Egypt and Brazil, and I can't remember the third country, started their protests across the world. And now we've had a lot of extreme weather, and now it looks like street violence. So with this, let's look forward to the next period. This is Naomi Bennett with Learn Astrology Now. We're going to go over the third quarter forecast for uh, 2013 and we'll review the uh, first half of the year but let's look at the next uh, three months because they can be significant um, we're doing this on July 1st the markets have been up but this is a very volatile period of time from July 1st through the 5th we still are having extreme weather and protests in Egypt and we're also um, seeing some loss of life there were 19 expert firefighters that were killed on Sunday. So this kind of activity is very likely, but I think the markets are going to respond positively through the bulk of this week because there are high speculation um, risk factors that are on the positive side. So the probability of the markets going up strongly this week, all week, is very strong. Um, I'll mention in general that um, through the bulk of this year, we've had Saturn in Scorpio, and what we've seen is a lot of um, uh, negative legal issues with um, rape and violence in the military and in the police. There's been, um, now we've had in Texas, the whole issue of restriction of abortion, again, against women. And we've seen that there have been major, major issues with sex and violence with military and police. That will continue through the rest of the year, that kind of news that happens. But let's go on into um, July, because the end of July creates the worst part of the period for this quarter, which is July the 24th through August the 6th. We have issues that uh, there should be a lot of market volatility, we're still likely to see extremes in weather, but economic instability, they'll, they'll shake up the markets, and violence and explosions because this is when um, people are frustrated and they're likely to take it out on the streets or do acts of violence during that time. I would suspect that that's particularly true anywhere near um, August the 4th will be the peak of that period of time, and it should fade after that point after um, August the 6th. Now August the 7th through the 20th we're likely to see the markets move higher toward um, a peak for the year um, because there is still aspects that 
point towards strong speculation and risk taking and um, a positivism that pushes the market higher. So as a collective group, as a mass psychology, I think we'll wind up seeing the markets hitting uh, a top during this period of time and that's from August the 7th through the 20th. That kind of um, positivism will fade in September. There aren't a lot of aspects in September that are significant except for the period of September the 5th through the 11th where we can see legal issues come up, surprise decisions, there can be a slowdown or a frustration and um, there's likely to be more heat and drought and you can also see a loss of life particularly with elderly people because they will suffer more with um, extremes of weather and um, heat and of course we, they are predicting that we're going to have one of the worst hurricane seasons ever and that would certainly correspond uh, usually we see a peak of that near Labor Day so with this we will stop and then we'll go review the charts that I have um, given with this forecast. All right, here's the chart for the third quarter, which is a quick review from what I've already said. I forgot to mark up that first period of July 1st to the 5th where we wind up um, having extremes of weather and protests but it's still positive for the market. The sentiment is they're going to drive it higher particularly because of that Jupiter node conjunct Pluto. That's a very uh, positive aspect for risk and investment and putting things higher. But here we see at the end of July, early August, is a Mars-Uranus period where we have lots of volatility and you'll see very erratic changes during that time and a lot more street violence. And then I mentioned the Mars-Saturn period that was the end of August and early September we're likely to see extremes of weather, elderly dying because of heat and drought. And then um, at the very end of the period, I noted it with a round circle, but it really falls into October is a Saturn Uranus period where we're likely to see volatility again. So with this, I think that the markets will um, achieve a top during um, um, August, and then we won't see real stability until November. I wish you the the best of trading but be on the safe side, the conservative side because 2014 looks ugly compared to 2013. Alright, the best to you.